All right, Tommy Willits. Hello. Welcome to the show. I'm excited to be here. Uh, what is your perception of this show? Um, well, I came to find it when I walked downstairs to cook up some food, and my dad had it on on the television. It was the episode with you and your mother. Uh huh. And I was like, oh, uh, I went, I went out of my own to look it up on YouTube and subscribe to it. Had to be. I had to be in the mix with all the stuff going on with the with the podcast. I was very excited for it. And is it the goal at the end to get Jordan Peterson on? Yes, that is the goal. Well, that is one of the goals. I didn't call it to interview Jordan Peterson. I called oh. it to interview them. Right, 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 right. So, right. so the Sky's goal is the limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I, I like even after I hit Jordan Peterson, it goes up. Mm. You know, and I'm gonna turn down the the TV so that it's not super loud. You can keep talking if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Tommy Willits from Willits Family Fame. Uh, we good to go? Yes. Um. Yeah, that's a that's a good topic to start off with. I hope as my I family. fidget with everything. Yeah. So, you are you and I are a very interesting duo because both of us have a have podcasts that they've been doing since we were. Like, since we were born. Yeah, well, not both of us, both of our parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, since I'm pretty sure, I want to say they started in 2004 or maybe 2003, but my entire life they've been mm -hmm. podcasting. How do you think that's affected you emotionally? <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> you know, funny enough, uh, since uh, being at my new job where I'm driving nonstop 24-7, I listen to a lot of podcasts, and mm. I would never want to listen to my parents' podcast ever, but today for the first time I actually put it on, and I lasted about... 10 minutes and then i went back to listen to smartless <laughs> that makes sense um but yeah they've they've been doing it for as long as i can remember and i feel like they'll continue to for as long as you will remember yeah until i my brain rots and the, the, i don't know keep it, oh oh I'm, i died high octane gaming <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're playing this game called split gate if you don't know it's basically if halo and portal um had a baby I remember and there's no wall running. I thought there was wall running. Like <laughs> it wasn't not Black Ops Three. It's, uh, <laughs> I remember this game took over the world for about four days. Yes, for about five minutes. And then it uh, disappeared off the face of the earth. I, I played it uh, for those four days yeah, of its I, popularity. I played it very actively. Um, I think I was okay. I, I come from playing a lot of first-person shooter games, but that's on mouse and keyboard controller is a different story. Oh, I think we're going in. So. We planned to play Apex Legends. Yes. For the for the adults in the audience <laughs> who have no idea what Apex Legends is. Well, what is what is Apex Legends? Uh, it's another copy and pasted battle royale game in the. It's set in the Titanfall universe. Whoa. Um, and we played it pretty heavily again in that game's early life. I'd mm -hmm. say probably for like two weeks we were heavy grinders. On I think that it was game. more than that. I think it was like two months. You think? Because so? we had multiple sleepovers where all we did was, was play, play Apex. Apex Legends. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but that game also kind of just died out for me. I know it's still wildly popular, but yeah, I play in a lot more story games now more than anything. I remember like it being like fourteen gigs or something like that. And then I went to go download it because we didn't have it, and it was sixty four gigs. Yeah, that and makes I was sense. Like, that's I still uh, that's nothing to like the Call of Duty Battle Royale. That game's like two hundred gigabytes. Yeah. Oh, I died. You want to play? I'll give it a shot. Yeah. So so Tommy's a a very oh, oh boy poor um oh man poor controller person. Yeah, you put me behind a mouse and keyboard, I'm gonna go crazy. But this is not my cup of tea. Yeah. So so it's new to both of us a little bit. Oh man, there is no good, good job. assist helping me out. Good job. And I'm already dead. So the real challenge is talking while you do this. You know, I think I'm I'm not too right. I I'm having the problem your dad was having where I'm hitting the PlayStation buttons. Yeah. I yeah, come yeah. from PC and PS5, so hopping to Xbox is a bit jarring. Don't want to walk in that. So you've been a lot of places. You've lived a lot of places. I have lived in quite a lot of places. I was born in Conyers, Georgia, lived there till I was about eight years old, moved up to Parker, Colorado, uh, for pretty much all my elementary school years, had a grand old time up there. Oh, Whoa! that was nice. Good, good. Headshot. Um, and then, yeah, uh, lived in Colorado for up until all of elementary. Then I popped over to Indiana for all of middle school. It was pretty uneventful there. Very forgettable. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and then we came back down here to Georgia at the start of my high school life uh, in a different area. We were first in Conyers, but now we're here in this area. No, you went to North Middle for, for like about two a, weeks. No, a day. <laughs> I think it was a day. And I was like, it was it was so close to the end of the year. Uh-huh. By the time I got acclimated to where everything was, the school year would be over and I'd be going to a new school regardless. So mm. I requested to get pulled out of there. To, mm, how did that not? There we go. Nice one. Um, requested to get out of there and just do homeschool for like two weeks. And I didn't really do anything for those two weeks. But um, yeah, I, I'm. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was close. Um, interview me. Give me questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so which did you absolutely despise? Uh, I wouldn't say I despised any of them. I'd say the uh, the one that's probably I would rank the lowest was Conyers just because mm. it was extremely uneventful and nothing really happened outside of our little humble abode. But you did see Avengers. I did see Avengers back in 2012. What a baller movie that was. That was 11 years ago. 11 years ago. That's, that's wild. Yeah. We've been seeing these movies in theaters since we were literal children. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they suck. And we don't. Yeah, so. they're not great. I have a question for you. Have What's you up? seen the new Puss in Boots movie? No. Oh, I heard it was my goodness, delicious. Uh, I'd put it in my top ten of 2022. Really? Oh, it was above a... or below Avatar. I haven't seen Avatar. <gasps> I don't care to see Tommy it. Willett. I haven't even seen the entirety of the first one. I fell asleep, <laughs> and I didn't want to go back and finish. Well, you will not fall asleep during Avatar two. But I feel like I'd be obligated to watch all of Avatar 1 if I were to go see Avatar 2. I've seen so many recap videos of Avatar 1 that I didn't even have yeah, to go I, I back. Get, okay, we'll see. I might go. I know if I see it, it's got to be in 3D to get the real Well, it's only experience. in 3D. Oh, you can't see it any other way? You that can see it in um, poor person digital, or you can see it in IMAX 3D. Yeah, I feel like IMAX is the way to go. I, I was disappointed because I... I was excited to get that crisp look of the of the real life, but it was sort of bogged down by the um Ooh. by the three D. Uh yeah, that's fair. I haven't seen a three D movie since Oh, I do have a secondary. I think uh when they nice. put all three of the Toy Story movies uh back <laughs> in theaters in three D. Uh huh. It was like a little marathon. I remember seeing all those. That would be back in Conyers. Uh, but I've always had a deep love for movies my whole life. I remember living in Colorado, and I would uh, constantly be going to the library, not for literature and books, but to get movies. Because you were so studious. Yeah, very studious. Uh, yeah. And I would get so many movies, and I'd, wa- oh, I'd watch so many movies all the time, and that's never really stopped. I've always loved watching movies. Uh-huh. Um, so, oh. mm. what is the worst movie you've ever seen? Oh, man. I got it. Oh, it's it's tough because I ge- I generally like everything I watch. It's hard to find a movie that I strongly dislike. All right, give me a movie worse than the effort list. Any movie? Well, no, any, that's worse than that. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. I could. That's probably bottom of the barrel for me. Really? I that that movie was a snooze fest the whole way through. That makes sense. Uh, I need I need some meat and potatoes on my movies. Uh huh. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh. I like movies that shock me. Uh, something that really that I absolutely loved that I watched recently was the new horror movie Barbarian. Mm. That movie was because fa- I went in knowing virtually nothing, uh-huh. and I had a fantastic experience. Very uh, barbarian-y. Yeah, it 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 was. Nothing could prepare you for that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good to know. You're you're an adult. I am an adult. What's that like? Uh, it's expensive. It's really expensive. Mm. A lot more bills to pay. Uh, a lot of things will come at you out of nowhere, and it's like, oh, you got to pay this much money now. Like, your car dying out on you, and thousand dollars. Just hey, you got to spend it now. Uh huh. That's never really fun. Do you think? So, so explain to the the audience your um your car issue that you had. Oh, so this past I. Time. Yeah, this was uh, within this week actually. Uh, I was driving home cool. and it looked like I had started going through a, an area of the upside down because my, my radio started flashing and the numbers were going crazy. The sound was going on and off. And I was like, that's not great. Uh-huh. Got home, turned off the car, went to turn it back on and it was making the really fast clicking noise. So I figured it'd be the alternator. All in all, it ended up being like $1,200 to get everything fixed. 
So do you? I've I've ridden with you a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you drive less, you then you would not have that issue? Well, I don't really floor it anymore. That's 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 too much of a. It burns way too much gas when mm. you go pedal to the metal. That that's gas one, is expensive. That's an adult thing you you adopt. You're like, oh, I'm old. I can I have much conserved gas. Say, and I I'm so. Uh, used to going the speed limit because in the company car i drive at work it's i have to be the oh speed limit. It's yeah so when i'm driving eight hours a day it is uh, the mat the road could be three miles long and 25 miles per hour i gotta be going 25 the whole time that's rough um but i'm already so i'm looking for the word i want to say pre predisposed predisposed to it I don't yeah know if that's correct grammar yes it is i, I don't remember anything from school <laughs> It's I, honestly, I don't know how I got through school as fast as I did doing the bare minimum because <laughs> even in my junior year, I was only going for like two hours a day, uh -huh. not even. And then my senior year was done in like two months. It was pretty great. Yeah. My senior year was done. Well, it's sort of not done, but it, this is what's frustrating about it. Every time somebody asks, oh, are you in school? I'm like, no. Well, they're like, are you graduated? No. Well, what's the deal? Well, I got a Latin class to take. Well, are you taking it? No. <laughs> Why are you not taking it, dude? It's because just going to loom over you to forever. Do, man. Yeah, like make podcasts. Exactly. <laughs> been. I was glad that been I, editing all, all day. my credits were in order. It was, it was it was nice just hunkering down, grinding it all out as fast uh -huh. as humanly possible. Like I would just memorize all this information, put it into the test, dump it out my head, and move on to the next thing for the next day. That's that was the, the school system. system in a nutshell. Yeah, and now that I'm done, it's all been dumped out of my head, and <laughs> I feel like all the important things that I've learned, like taxes and how to manage money and all that, came from working from such a young age. And... Yeah, I was talking to uh, to my mom earlier, and and I was like, nice. you you go through school thinking that like you just push stuff in, push information in, and then shoot it out. But then, like, you get to, like, the two important classes that, like, actually are about life, government, and economics. Mm -hmm. And then you do the same thing. You just push push it in and shoot it out. And so yeah. it's I it doesn't in, benefit you. I went into, like, going into econ and all that already, like, having a deep love for budgeting and financing <laughs> and personal finance. Uh -huh. And uh, I feel like I didn't really learn anything that I needed to know to advance what I'm already doing within mm. that uh, field. Valid. But... Where where is this person? I don't know, man. People are going in and out of portals. It's there's a lot going on. I I've I, even though I've I've done four of these already, I've never um, it's it's still really weird hearing yourself. Like I I have these headphones on and I'm I'm talking to myself and and it's 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 rather rather quirky, rather is, weird. Is there a delay at all within your headphones of you talking and you start speech jamming uh, yourself? Uh, no, th thankfully, because it's it's plugged right into the H four. Have you so. ever talked with a speech jammer? Like where it's delaying your voice by like a half a second. And I I remember mumbling. trying that with Ben in Swainsboro for like five minutes in his room in like the orange room. You remember mm, that? I do remember the orange room on the on the peanut shaped blue table? Had he had I his, kind his of laptop. remember that table. That table sucked, man. I man, used those it for old too long. What, what do you remember from? Because you've been to each of the houses we've lived in. I remember too little. I I mostly remember the basement of Colorado. Oh, the unfinished basement. Yeah, and that I was think a great that, basement. I think that was mostly because of um, mini mass confusion. Because mm. I I can watch that, so my brain sort of keeps that. Yeah, memory. yeah, yeah. That's fair. Um, but yeah, it's it's not much. It's weird. Like you know how you'll go to a place and then you'll be like, oh my gosh. I was here many moons ago. Mm. That that's how I'd probably feel. Like it, the memory of it leaves, but but the the feeling of it stays. Yeah, like it stays trapped somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So poetic. Very poetic. <laughs> Killed by Banaxmil. <laughs> so, have you played a lot of story games in your time? Um, not really. I usually that's not like, really. Could you give me a top three? Okay. Um. It's really hard for me to name three. Really? Okay, so it's not a lot. You don't yeah. Play many. Um. I've played, I played um the Stanley Parable, which is sort of yeah, a story never game. Never heard of that. Um. I, I'm thinking it's more VR games that that have story because like that's not sort of the games I play. I play Minecraft and I play this sometimes, 
I, I played multiverses for like five minutes. Oh, dude. I went crazy on multiverses when that game first came out. I remember I sunk like 120 hours in that game. When was the last time you played it? <sighs> while ago. I literally <laughs> sunk that many. It was, it was pretty much just waiting till uh, the new COD came out. Uh-huh. So I, I played that game so much. And as soon as COD came out, I haven't touched it. And then I finished the Camel Ground and COD, and I haven't touched that either. Uh, it's just once you reach that barrier. It's like when you... Yeah, when I got you, the thing I wanted, and I'm done. When you have a survival world on Minecraft, and you turn it to creative just to get one thing, and then it's all over. Yeah, it's ruined. No, I, I played for... I think it took me 150 hours to get the camo. Oh, my god. I think I played one game with... like I played <laughs> half a game with the camo on and left, and I haven't touched the game since. You're like, I'm done. Yeah, this, I got it. That was a, I had nothing great. to work towards, so I was like, eh. What's the point of playing this game? Yeah. But right now, I've been working my way through Red Dead Redemption 2. Ooh. And that game is beautiful. I, I want to play that just for the NPCs. Oh, dude, yeah. The NPC interactions are amazing in that game. Because I like, just... I watched this guy just walk around. Just, just... Yeah, there's so many interactions. It's so crazy. It's, I just... I... I, I uh, found this one random encounter mission that you can go on of this, like, crazy scientist who builds a robot. And I'm a working robot? My way that. Yeah. Back in the 1800s. Yeah, he built like a robot. I'm doing that right now. But like you couldn't, that's not like part of the story. You just got to find that dude and talk to him. Um, so of all, you're very, you're not very scholastic. I don't know what that word means. So <laughs> it, I'm going to agree it, with that It statement. sort of defines. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's, what's your favorite book? And I'm not, I'm not talking about comic book. Oh, I'm talking about book. My favorite novel. Your favorite novel well, you've I've only ever really read, read uh, a few. And I'll just say The Hobbit because of how much I loved those movies at the time of when I read the book. Chesterton, get out. Be gone. Forsooth. Bye, buddy. That's, that's our dog. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'd say The Hobbit. Makes sense. Makes sense. Because I was really into those movies. I I seem to remember that. You you do seem like the the type of you seemed in sixth grade to be the type of person to really enjoy those movies. I, I think it was no, it was earlier than that because it was I I I remember seeing the first one like oh, I saw all three in theaters and that first one came out in like 2010 2011 maybe uh -huh. so I was really little and then I think it wasn't until the second one came out that I read the book for the first time I was still like in elementary school so I probably didn't comprehend it at all. But I read it, and then I read it again when I was in, like, eighth grade, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it, because I watched all the movies again afterwards, compare the two. Makes sense. Speaking of comparing the two, Last of Us TV show. Oh, yeah. How is it? I haven't seen it. So I am an avid fan of the first two games. Uh -huh. I love them to death. I played the first one twice in, like, the spam of a month, uh -huh. uh, and I love the second one. So I, I was very anxious for this uh show to come out because i wanted them to do it justice because I, I i have such a deep love for both those games so first first episode came out uh it'll come out on sundays and i rated it on three different scales uh i rated it on just as a tv show on its own as a pilot uh -huh. i rated it on accuracy to the game like how much it was like one to one and then faithfulness to the game like how the characters are how the world looks things like that so as a pilot Seven out of ten. It was a solid, strong start to a series. Uh -huh. uh, accuracy, I gave it a six, a strong six, because that the outbreak day scene was like so many shots were perfect. I was quoting dialogue like as the actors were saying because I knew what they were gonna say. It was perfect. Uh -huh. uh, and then faithfulness to the game, nice. I give it like an eight with how everyone acts. I think everyone, I think the casting was really solid. I'm very excited to see uh, where the show goes. How much, in your mind, is it allowed to deviate from the game? Well, so far, all the deviations they've done have been for the better. And it's like expanding on little tiny things that would get mentioned in the game. Mm -hmm. And expanding on a lot more of those things that we never actually got to see. Uh, which I think is great for a show like this. Like, there was, there was even like a couple minor changes during the Outbreak Day scene that I thought worked so perfectly. And I thought would have been, it would have elevated it if, if it was in the game. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to see uh, where the rest of the show goes. Are we live? We do be live, and sorry about that. Uh, that crew, we um, we had a little bit of a uh, technical glitch there. We did indeed. Going to be really fun for me to edit it. Oh yeah, but we it's got about okay. ten Just more minutes to the break. Two separate clips. So, um, it's so strange because I feel like uh, we we would have sleepovers a lot. Oh yeah, and back in the day. I, All even the like time. two months ago. Yeah, that's have, fair. Yeah, it was. We used to be like once a week. And so now we we've. I think we've interviewed each other so much during that time that it feels really strange, like, doing it. Really? It feels pretty normal to me right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel weird. It just feels like, oh, we just do this all the time. Dude, where are the bogeys at? 
But I, I completely know, agree. Um, you you should use your portals more. Dude, I uh, I don't know what button that is. It's LB and RB. Yeah. Portal. Uh, and you can go through the enemy's portal too. But you can't see. But you can't see. Oh man. Oh man. It's kind of funny that you and me both kind of started making video things like at the same time. Yeah. Mine was really random. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I was gonna. I was gonna wait. Actually, go ahead and explain yours because I can put it in the bio. Oh yeah. Uh, so I have a little review show that I do on my channel called Late to the Party, Word. where we talk about it's kind of like reviews of movies, TV shows, games that have been out for a while, but I'm just now getting around to playing or watching. I'll make a little review on it. Uh, they're fun. They're short little quick bite videos. Take too long to edit. You've done. Uh, I got two done right now. I'm writing the third video. So what? What's that going to be about? Uh, it'll be Red Dead 2, because that's the nice. one I'm about to finish. Very excited to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was a fantastic game. Well, I'm still playing it. Still got a little bit to go. It is a fantastic it game. It is a fantastic game. I'm sad for it to be over. Until they drop Red Dead 3. I don't. I doubt it'll happen, but we'll see. Um, But actually, one of the things that made me want to make this was because I was anticipating The Last of a Show coming out. And I was like, I wanted to make a comparison video uh -huh. of the game and the show when the show was done. Um, and then that kind of sparked into me thinking of the name late to the party. I was like, oh, that'd be a good review series name. And then I was like, why not? I'll just write one and make it. Uh -huh. So I made one for the Ghost of Tsushima game. And then I made one for Better Call Saul, which I'm repping here. Slipping Jimmy. Nice. This is my favorite shirt to wear at the gym. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's fine. It's just a regular shirt, but I love it so much. I've gotten so, so spoiled because I work at this, this outlet store. Yeah, that's, we, I, we both used to work there. It, it, it rhymes with depress. Yeah, um, that's a good word to use. Yeah. Um, and we got some flannels from there, dude. Oh yeah, I'm sure gosh. for like the winter and November floor oh set. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. They are so soft. Man, I remember working there. I would just sit in the back in a chair, clipping on security scanners onto clothes and just We watch. call them sensors. Yeah, sensors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just yeah, sit there all day long. I, I i i've done shipment like all the time mostly but it's not in the back so i can't listen yeah to music. new management came in and changed the way we like to do things that's why i left but i like what i'm doing now i, I got a great gig i love it that new management may or may not be listening <laughs> right now so you should probably um uh... <laughs> i don't work there no more i'll say what i want about the place that's a good point y'all got point. overpriced clothes <laughs> that are not i would just <laughs> Um, if you could have a boxing match <laughs> between boxing no, match. no, no, not celebrities, people you know in real people life, in... top top five people you just want to punch in the face. You don't have to name names, but like well, then I don't really know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> but like this one person, this eh, one person, this other I... <laughs> person. No, I can't think of anyone I'd want to fight. I don't. The new management, wanna... <laughs> yeah, new management express is the first thing that popped to my mind. I'll be honest. Yeah. But no, I don't really, I don't have beef with anybody and I've been pretty good about never having beef with anybody. That makes sense. That's not really a, something I've, I've gravitated towards. Samuel White from uh, Scout Camp. Oh, you had beef with a kid in, in Scouts? Uh, it wasn't much beef. I just hated his guts, bro. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Evan Rogers you know, too. I'm, but... I'm really happy that my parents never like Put you in forced scouts. me into stuff. Uh huh. Uh, and kind of let me find stuff on my like. I'm glad they never like forced me to play guitar, and that's just something I kind of found on my own and fell in love with, and mm -hmm. things like that. How long have you been doing that? Uh, since we moved here, so probably a little over three years now. Why have you not uh been successful with it? What do you mean? Like, why have you I not? I feel like I've been very successful with it. Why have you not? When when are you putting out that music? Did you put? Did you Dude, put I've out been that sitting music? on those instrumentals for so long. Why why have you and put them out? You want to know a sad thing? My absolute favorite song, my best song that I made, uh, got completely erased when my hard drive got fried. God. And I lost it. So I still have two. The only thing holding me back is just the uh, the lyrical and vocal aspect of it. I, I got the drums, guitar, bass, all mm. of that done for uh, two. I'm recreating the third right now. What's the most difficult part of it? Uh, the vocals? Yeah, well, yeah, the vocal, coming up with lyrics and figuring out a way to sing, because the music I make is very heavy, hard rock, mm -hmm. metal kind of stuff, and that's a very distinct uh, type of singing and vocals that I would need to do for it, and I'm just not sure if I got those chops, but <gasps> yeah, I'm not that guy. I, I, I feel like, if anything, I'd want to try and maybe replicate 
uh, like Alice in Chains, Metallica type vocals, maybe like a blend of the two. I feel mm -hmm. like that could kind of work for the style of music that I've been making. But I mean, I never really was making it with the intentions of becoming a musician. I just kind of do it because I have a lot of fun with it and mm -hmm. I like creating stuff on it. And I just mostly just have fun playing. Do you think it's a jolly good time? If you could, do you feel you'd be worthy to play on any of your favorite bands? <laughs> like play with the band? Yeah. I don't think I'd be worthy because there I, I just look up to all of them so much. Uh -huh. uh, but I would love I haven't jammed with a group of people in a while, but I did a little bit in my sophomore year of high school. There were two people I used to jam with. Um, and that, that was a load of fun. I had a good time doing that. And before that, even in like, I think my freshman year, my buddy Corbin, he uh, I got him to start playing drums for me and we jammed together and then he ended up moving away. But I had a lot of fun jamming with him. Um, and it's a lot easier making up music when you have other people also <laughs> on instruments. And it's not just you having to think of how the drum's going to go, how this guitar going to go, how's the bass going to go and having to form it all together and mix mm -hmm. it. It's a lot of work, but so it's a lot of fun at the end of the day when I get to press play and listen to the full song. What, uh, what are, what are your goals and aspirations? Uh, well, right now my main goal is just to continue to work a whole lot and get as much money as I can saved up. Cause I'll be moving out here in a little bit. We're going to start applying to, uh, places in April, uh, and hoping to have a place in May, which I'm very in excited. May? Yeah. May is when we're looking to have Dude, the place. I thought it was going to be like mid to late summer. No, 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 no. Early summer. We're cause I'm, I'm, I'm doing good right now. Uh huh. Uh, but I just want to be, I want to be big chilling on Makes like sense. when, when I first leave, I don't want to have to worry about money too much. <laughs> oh, he dabbed. That is never fun. He dabbed on his way out. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, Ben's, I, I guess I mixed you and Ben up cause Ben's moving out in the summer. That's fair. It's, um, what, what, what do you think it's going to be like next year or the end of this year? Think, think about it. Think it's, about how radically different. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's very exciting. I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, my parents are equally, if not more, excited for me to leave. Because <laughs> um, how, much, how much of the groceries at your house is, do you use? Like uh, Of theirs? Yeah. I'd say maybe like 25, 30% of their groceries. Wow. I buy the rest. Yo! That was nice. Oh, popping off. Come on. A little three-piece. Um, Come here, buddy. I'm a little baby boy. Yeah, I've been buying a lot of my own groceries for a while now. It, it gets expensive, but I can get the things I need. Makes sense. Which is nice. I know you recently just went shopping and started getting some good stuff. I did because I was so tired of not having good stuff. Yeah. I I made tuna. It's Friday, so I don't we don't usually eat meat on Friday. So I, I, I made tuna salad this morning, and I had... I had a protein shake. Nice. If you can power through just a straight little can of tuna, that's just the quickest. Dude, like, it's 20, not power 25. through. I absolutely really? love tuna. I'm not a fan, but sometimes in delicious. a pinch, if I need some protein, I'll crack open one of those cans and just wolf it down with a fork. It's I struggle with it, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I've been talking away kind of far from the mic, I just realized. Yeah, and we are at 29 minutes. So we're going to take a break. And then we're going to come back and we're going to play a little different game that y'all may be familiar with. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. And we are back from break, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we just thoroughly enjoyed some milk. We did indeed. Cold just glasses of, of whole milk. Love me some milk. We are here at the Super Ultra Mega Park. Hold on. I need to go back. Okay. To Guys, quote Tommy, I am goaded at Skate 3. I love this game. I remember the first time I played it very vividly. Oh, I should not have dished the board. I, um, it was the last day of school in my third grade year. And third I grade? Got home, went down to the basement. Walter was playing Skate 3, and I remember when he bought it. Oh, that would have been sick. I remember when he bought it, and he let me play and i was like wow this game is so sick there's actually something i'm going to show you in a little bit a little secret cool spot you can go Ooh. to uh and i know about the observatory tom oh it's not that oh that would have been so clean you gotta show sourcing how to go where does you are being chilling i forget how to play this already yeah all right, keep the interview going, Sam. Uh, yeah. So, if you could, um, who, 
who are your heroes? My heroes? I wouldn't really say I have too many heroes, but there are definitely people that I, I strongly admire, um, like musicians. I, I really, Metallica did a lot for me that completely changed my taste in music and the way I looked at music. And, and the way you dress. I guess, well, I don't know. I feel like I've always worn <laughs> pants, a yeah. graphic t-shirt accompanied yeah. by a flannel or a hoodie. That's uh -huh. been a constant since the third grade. Uh, but their music has done a lot for me, and it's what made me want to start making my own music was them. And seeing them live was like top three coolest nights of my life. So when you have your first child, will you um? Oh yeah, will you look get, back and get... think Metallica was better than this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but my kids are gonna be raised to be little rock stars. Little rock stars. Oh yeah. See, I gotta. I don't want to force them to play guitar, but I gotta. I gotta keep it around them and try my hardest to gaslight them into wanting <laughs> to play guitar in every room in the house. Yeah, I'll just make sure that it is a central focal point for these children uh, in their most formative years what do you do you think you would be like a professional musician if if your parents were professional musicians or oh, like 100 percent. if my parents yeah for sure so then why are you a podcast <laughs> uh because i don't share the deep burning passion for podcasting as they do well i feel like it's more um it's more about uh evangelization for them because they're yeah, they're kinda... not they're not going after the brand deal checks. Yeah, every week. me neither. I mean... Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got so many rolling in, but I just I'm not about you say that. no. You're not really rocking with BetterHelp's message of bettering people. <laughs> <laughs> um, if do you have any regrets? Nope, not a single one, except for that tattoo I got that said no regrets. <laughs> Really I thought it said regrets. No, it was regrets. Mm. I, he thought I said no rugrats. <laughs> but I was like, no, I said no regrets. Dude, that happens to me like every week. Um, and I've gotten it lasered off and I went back and told him again and he did it <laughs> twice in a row. And they wouldn't refund me. They would not refund me. That's that's it was a big bummer. That's a major L on your part. Yeah. Um Have you ever wanted to be in an interview? We're going meta with the interview questions. Yeah, there is a lot of interview questions. Have I ever wanted to be interviewed? I feel like if I had something to promote, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we already promoted your um, your, your uh, my late to the party videos. Late to, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, but I mean, those are just goofing around, having having a jolly good time. Last week, I promoted Mary's um, uh, the place where you get married and the people give you give you items. The uh, registry wedding, no the the wedding registry. So the people uh, can give you give yeah, you stuff yeah. for your house. Uh, we yeah, promoted I'll, that. I'll, you can plug like my my cash app <laughs> if people want to like give me money. So what are you gonna do with it? You're gonna pr pr produce higher quality late to the party uh, videos? No, I'll probably just spend it on Moe's. Makes sense. Yeah, that that sounds about that sounds about right. I'm going to Moe's on Sunday. Just a whole lot of stacks, whole lot of stacks. Stacks are amazing, dude. Well, what's your what's your your peak stack? Um. Stack My peak uh, stack. It's got yes. uh all right, laid down with some white chicken, onions, Ooh. peppers, tomatoes, queso, more cheese, a little bit of fresh jalapenos, some citrus chipotle ranch sauce drizzled on oh top. My gosh. A little bit more cheese, you toast that puppy up, cut it in half. It's it'll be the best thing you ever put in your mouth. Word. That's my go to. I get it way too often. I don't I don't really pay attention too much. Wait, how how often is way too often? Well, dude, it sucks because I work right next to it. Oh, no. And, and you know, because I'm driving for like 8, 10 hours a day, I can't uh -huh. get as many meals in me as I'd like to be getting in me. So at the end of the day, I'm just so hungry, so I'll just get a stack. It happens at least once a week. Once a week? Yeah. How much of your budget is just Moe's? Uh, a very small amount. About 90%. <laughs> wow, dude, 11 dollars for a stack, that's, that's that once a week. Jump change. <laughs> Sam, I got one, to play for three minutes. And I'm, then you so, I'm it. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, one billion dollars. Sam, what are your so favorite TV shows? My favorite TV shows, Limitless. Mm. It is not a great TV show, but is my favorite. Um, we got. It's it's always when questions are asked. I don't know. If I had coffee, it would be better. I should have coffee before every interview because I feel like I'm I'm, I'm drawing blanks Did right you see now. See that, dude. Um, but. Uh, I I absolutely love Limitless. New Girl is really good. New New Girl is high quality. Um, I'm watching through Friends right now. Mm. It, it's, 
when in the office where like 75 percent of the jokes land and they're really funny and they'll give you give you a chuckle like 20 percent of the jokes land on friends mm -hmm. but they're just such likable characters that you can't not enjoy watching it that's fair like see i definitely gravitate more towards dramas and those serious well, stories. but there's drama in friends because like in the episode i'm watching it's a two-parter because phoebe has a twin who looks exactly like her uh -huh. and joey's dating that twin Wow. And Joey asked her. I have no faces with any of these names. <laughs> it's just names. We went to a ski retreat actually, and there's um. Joey from Friends. No, but there was a one of the girls working there looked like Courtney Cox, and I was like, "Hey, you look like Courtney Cox," and she was like, "I don't know who that is," and I'm like, "The she's from Friends," and she's like, "Oh, which one?" And I was like, "The black haired one." And she's like, "Oh, thanks," and I'm like, "Oh, you're welcome." <laughs> I don't even know what the black haired one looks like. Uh, I'll 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 show you a picture off air. Okay. Right about what that guy looks like, so you're uh, oh, okay. Sweet, pretty pretty spot on. Well, okay, so this is the part you want to go ahead and place a marker in case you fall. This is the hard part. Ah, oh. wow, you're there. really walking up completely vertically. And then, right. Through. Are we on Shark Tank? Is Boom, that... highest peak in the map. Whoa. And you can jump off. <laughs> sing with me, I sing for the years. Sing for. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta make it. <laughs> Um, one of the things mom and I talked about on the show is um violence in video games mm. and how needless violence can can be because because she got frustrated with when dad um well you're gonna love this <laughs> oh no dude I don't think I can show that on the on the on the cast bro <laughs> oh, dare I get demonetized. It's like Mortal Kombat meets Dude, Skate people 3. Put, uh, there's montages of people getting just the highest scores on all oh. of meat of the most bones you can break. <laughs> That's rough, man. Did you not know about that? No. For our audio listeners, um, nothing bad is happening. I was going to ask you. You got the show on uh, on everything? Like iTunes, Spotify? iTunes, Spotify, quick, quick plug for Google Podcast. Yeah. And um, on Spotify, there's uh, you can see video, too. So oh. you can crack it open and watch. Would you look at that? You've made it to the big leagues, Kato. Oh, I know. Um, it's through this service called Anchor, which um, I have not put in a sponsored segment, so I refuse to uh, talk about them. Mm. Um, but it, uh, the show was partially the structure of it was inspired by Joe Rogan. If That's you fair. if yeah. you hadn't noticed, because because um, you don't really I don't really introduce the guest until like the bio, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's more of a conversation, and there's a new guest every week because I just really like that format, and you know that. Um, the guy who like traded a paperclip for a house. Yeah, it's it, Ryan. It's, yeah, I it's like that, that but with people. Mm -hmm. Like every episode, I I bring on a new person. I'm like, hey Tommy, Ooh. do you know any really interesting people who could be on my show? Catholic and or not Catholic, preferably not Catholic, because I've had a lot of Catholics on here. Um, any interesting people, man? I I. Do you think I I was thinking about this? Do you think Dylan would be down to be? No. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I, you guys have maybe spoke a word to each other yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But would that be would really be what's weird. funny about it is that I literally have no idea who he is. No, I don't think he would go for that at all or have any fun doing that. What about Logan? No. No? Shame. Oh, why are we stopping? I want to get Walter on here. Walter would be cool. Call him out right now. You want to call in your lifeline? No, but I'm saying you call him out. Oh, that would have been so cool. Walter Willits, yeah, if you're watching this, you better get on this podcast yeah, right now. Walter, you stupid guy. Walter, you get on this podcast right now, Walter. That was nice. Have you ever watched anime? Uh, I tr <laughs> Whoa. I tried to watch like half an episode of Attack on Titan and got bored of it. But I did watch all of Cowboy Bebop. Ah, I enjoyed that show. I watched the pilot of that, and I it was like, oh, that's this is great, this is beautiful. And then yeah, I watched the second fun. episode, and I was like, this is just a. I wanted anime. to watch uh, Akira. Mm. Oh, Kira? Akira. That, oh, I Akira. think it's a movie from yeah. like nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, yeah, Movie. I thought that would be cool to watch. I I thought the vibe and the aesthetic of what I've seen from it looked kind of cool. So Spirited Away. No. I've heard good things about Spirited Away. Oh. I'm just a big drama guy, though. No. Jude is, um... 
I think Jude's been in every episode off camera. <laughs> he's the uh, he's the mo- he's our Jamie. Yeah, Jude, yeah, pull yeah. that up for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Jude is trying to play Skate Three because he's a big big Skate Three guy. Um, Dude, you want to learn how to do all these cool tricks? I landed it. Dude, you're not in the episode. Get out. Be gone. You're going to have a lot to edit. It's actually not that hard. Like, I mean, it, it's only an hour. So. Did you see that? No, rewind it real quick. Let me get a replay on that. I'm going to forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get an instant replay on that. <laughs> um... You've been what's what's your history with editing videos? Me? Yeah. So it dates way back actually, because uh, I like to think I'm a somewhat good editor when it comes to my videos. Mm-hmm. And it started, I'd say, third grade. I would wow. shoot little movies on my iPhone three with no SIM card. Yeah. And put it in the iMovie. I'd splice them all together. I'd add sound effects. I'd add little music, things like that. I have a whole flash drive of these home movies from like third and fifth grade that I made. Um, I think I saw them on your Mac one time yeah some of them are outrageously violent <laughs> for my little self to be making uh-huh. uh but it started way back then and then i had a little brief uh phase in i'd say maybe freshman sophomore year where i was making like quick funny gameplay edit montages of like battlefront or cod gameplay with just mm-hmm. a whole bunch of edits and effects over the gameplay and it was really fast-paced videos like that and then um that honestly doing those videos probably taught me how to do most of my editing stuff because that's where i learned how to do like green screen stuff and the little effects things like that and then you know now i'm doing the uh late to the party videos and mm-hmm. those are really just uh mostly editing that is splicing it together and getting all the b-roll that i would want when did you uh switch to davinci resolve Oh, I've been using DaVinci for a while. Probably since I started uh, editing my guitar cover videos that mm. I also have up on YouTube. When I started doing those, I uh, started using DaVinci. And I like it a lot. It's good. It's free. I don't pay any money. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I can do everything on there uh, to a certain extent that you'd be able to do on the big ones. And I'd love to learn Premiere Pro because I know there's so much cool stuff I could do with it. But mm-hmm. that's just, I don't really think I have the time or patience to teach myself an entire editing software again. Yeah, I I did that with uh, Fusion 360 because mm. I um it, a version of it is free and I've been using my 3D printer a lot recently and mm. so I I'm like Fusion 360 it's great for modeling and stuff but I watched one tutorial video and on it and I was like this seems really simple but also really complex mm-hmm. I do not have the patience to learn this but I also learned recently you can do like auto transcription on Premiere Pro oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, with captions and everything. Ready for this quad. Whoa. Oh. Oh. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Dude, I it enjoys me so much to be playing this game right now. I haven't played it in so long. <laughs> and it just it brings me right back to those good old days of playing Skate 3. Because mm-hmm. this game was... This is one of like my... This feels like a childhood game for me. Really? And, dude, let's talk childhood games a little bit. Oh, I'm down. Uh, the big ones for me, Lego Batman 2 was the most influential game for me as a child. <laughs> I think that probably crafted and formed me as a man today, uh-huh. 2023. I don't think I'd be who I am right now if it wasn't for Lego Batman 2 on the PS3. I played that game so much. Uh, also, again, Skate 3, I played a lot of this. I played a lot of... Ooh, um, Man, what Skylanders? That was also yes, my jam. Yes, I was going to mention Long that. Long time, played a lot of Skylanders. How far did you get? What game? Uh, I think I owned Trap Force. Really? But never played it. So, like, I had it purchased, but uh-huh. I, I kind of had already fallen out of it. I think my last one that I actually played all the way through was probably Giants. You didn't You didn't do Swap Force? I owned it. Again, didn't play it. <laughs> you didn't play I it? I just wanted the characters. I, I think I cared more about collecting individual Skylanders more than I cared about the gameplay of it all. Because I had so many. <laughs> Skylanders. That was any inkling of money I would make back then. It, it <laughs> just went, went straight, it went into, straight Skylanders. into Skylanders. Dude, it, it's it's a concept that was never implemented really well. Like, like make the Skylanders opposable mm-hmm. that you could actually use action fig use them as action figures. Mm-hmm. So they're not just toys, but characters in the game. And you could, yo, you're doing a cheat code. Anyway, you could put in like swap different parts of the arms 
like swap force, but like ultimate swap force. Got a hoverboard now. That's there's no wheels. Whoa, no dude. Now hoverboard. for you audience members, he has a hoverboard. Did you was the code McFly? It was. I think McFly. Um Yeah, Minecraft is just a big one for me. Mm. Minecraft has been like my entire life game. Like a game that I've just and that's why it's funny when I when I did uh interview dad last week and I taught him how to play Minecraft. I was just so confused. I was like, how do you how do you not get this? Cuz yeah, it's just I, been all my life is Minecraft. I never could get into Minecraft. I've given it a actual true genuine attempt. Uh have you ever done zombie mode? No. It turns all the NPCs into zombies and they come after you. Whoa. What's up, man? Brains. Why are they not chasing me? Oh, I guess you're the last of us then. <laughs> I, I'm I'm the last skater alive. Uh huh. You could never get into Minecraft. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you could fight him too. Where you at? Let me get, Square up. Let me get rid of my. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Let me take it out of zombie mode. Yeah. So it's it was Minecraft and, dude, we got. Terraria. Jude loved Terraria. Yeah, my brother Ben played a whole lot of Terraria too. Jude rocked with some back Terraria. Back in his time. Um, he. Let's see. We had the Wii. And then a little later on, we had the Xbox Connect. So we had, like, there was a Star Wars Connect Adventures game mm -hmm. where you would, you would, like, run and they would actually run and you could, you could do some stuff. <sighs> I can't remember. Um, causing mayhem in the streets in state three <laughs> <laughs> come here <laughs> get over here um but yeah those are the only games dude i know you can get people to tase you but i can't figure out how to get them to tase me tase yeah people can tase you if you punch them whoa i feel like this is not how a hoverboard should act oh not in the slightest but it'd be so sick yeah how much money would you pay for a hoverboard like this i i mean a hoverboard that just acts like a skateboard it's literally just a skateboard that hovers well it's if it's exclusive to me like if i'm i'm if i'm the only one who gets it you're like somebody walks up to me with a briefcase with it, yeah, in, with it, a and hoverboard like, in it i will I'll how much will you. you pay me how much you dump it if someone tells you to dump your bank account for this think about how much you probably go back and sell this for this thing actually levitates off the yeah, ground I'd and carries it. you weight yeah i'd dump my bank account yeah i don't think i'd dump my bank account <laughs> Yeah, but since I'm not 18, I like I can't access my savings account, so my Wait, mom what? has to change stuff. Dude, I've always had full control of both my accounts since I was well, like 13. I'm on USAA, so it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on USA you can't do. Like you can't Zell. Man, what? You got to get a better bank. Well, I'm I'm gonna be 18 in six months. Are you excited to be to have a special new number? Um, I'm more excited to not be at my parents' house. Well, you're not leaving the day you turn 18. I'm though. leaving How? before I turn 18. Oh, you'll already be in Wyoming? I'll be in the woods in the middle of nowhere. And then how long will you be there? Um, Four months wow. before I come back home for summer, for winter break. Are you excited? I'm so excited, man. Yeah, dude, I'll be well into living on my own by then. Just to, to just change up, you know? Yeah, it's going to be pretty bizarre living on my own. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be cool, though. I just... <laughs> Really don't want to be too far from everything, uh huh. Because like I, my location right now is pretty peak. It's only like a ten minute drive to the gym, five minute drive to work. Mm -hmm. It's nice. So I What's, hope. What would be your dream job? My but dream not not job? like a not like a lazy <laughs> job, like an actual. No, I, job. I've always wanted to do stuff in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. voice acting, normal acting. Ever since I was a little kid, that that's always been like if I could pick anything. Run me through your voices. My voices, like impressions or just random voices? It, it, both. Let's start with impressions. Um, Dude, you know what's sad is I can't really do my Joe Swanson anymore. Whoa, Goose Girl. Hey, Peter, it's uh, me, Joe. I feel like it used to be better. Yeah. I just don't think it's it hits anymore. Um, I like to think I have a pretty good Mike Armand Trout from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. <clears throat> Walter, <laughs> no half measures. Yeah, we we the the, the 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 minerals. That would be uh, uh, Mike if he had an aneurysm. What was I trying? To, I was trying to think of a certain quote that he said. One of my favorites. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Here, I'll let you play for a little bit. 
We had a good thing, Walter. We had Fring, we had the lab, and then you and your pride and your ego. Walter, you sussy baka. But no, I'd love to do just anything in the entertainment industry. I want to be on a movie set. I want to, I'll do anything, man. I'll be a PA. <laughs> I just want to be in that industry. Physician's assistant. <laughs> Well, the, the, I'm, I'm talking like the people with the little, little, little earpiece headset running around throwing scripts at people and banging uh -huh, on trailers. Uh -huh. We need you in five. I'll be that guy. I feel like that guy like has to be really short. Like it's <laughs> their job to is to be really short because because you, you got to if you walk out and hear like, hey, we need you in five as opposed to hey, we need you in five now. Well, and then you walk I'd... out and this tiny, really crazy dude, you know, you feel me? I do feel you. Yeah. What about you? What's your dream job? My dream job, um, uh, engineer. Oh, what? Then why are you going to where you're going to college? Well, I mean, my. I, Aren't you gonna get like a literature degree or something? Liberal arts. Yeah, that's not but, gonna make you an engineer. No, I know, but it's like, I don't have one. My my quirk is that it's it's I have a bunch of dream jobs. I want to be I want to be, so many things. I want to be an author. I want to be, um, an engineer, an entrepreneur. Uh, um. A uh, writer in general, um, an actor would be dope. I think I have solid acting skills. Voice actor, I, I have some some voice acting. Um, so like just just so many things that like all at once, not at once, but like everything under my belt. You know, mm -hmm. if somebody looked at my portfolio, they'd be like, "Dude, you've been doing a bunch of crap." Because I it just terrifies me doing one thing for the rest of my life. Yeah, you see, I don't really care if I'm doing one thing for the rest of my life. As long as I still get to do all the other little things that make me happy, mm. then I'll be chilling. That's the difference between you and I. Yeah. Dang it. Who's your... If you could trade places with, with one celebrity... Um... <laughs> And have one of their careers. But just be them more than that. I don't think I'd want to be anyone but myself. But like if you had to. But if I could. No, I I, I, I want it. <laughs> no, but you you are I think it'd be an held at gunpoint. I think it'd be an easier question to ask whose career would I like to All have right, rather than whatever. being <laughs> them. Um, I'm trying to think. Like. Ooh, I think. I think. Robert Pattinson's had a pretty great career. Oh, yeah, like, I'd be really... okay starting off with a really bad vampire movie, but, uh, like, he later on went and did Good Time, which is an amazing movie, and then uh, The Batman. The and Weird I, Lighthouse one. Uh, I never saw that, and I know he's doing... He's he's gonna I, he's gonna have a great next few years. I think he's gonna be making some really incredible movies. Um, that'd be a cool career to have, especially just to get to be Batman. That's, that's, that's the end-all be-all, if you get to be Batman. I used to have a good... Oh, I'm trying to think of the specific voice actor's Go. name who did. He did the Batman uh, voice acting in all the the DC animated universe, that like 16, 17 movie long universe. The one that died recently? Uh, no, that's Kevin Conroy. That's that's mm. the Batman voice actor. Uh -huh. uh, but this guy, I want to say his name was... Oh, it's killing me. I got to look it up. I got to know this guy's name. I could say like one line in his voice that I thought sounded pretty good. How, bro? How? <sighs> oh, we got we got like five minutes left. Is that so? Yeah. Three? Dang, bro. Oh, Jason O'Mara. Jason O'Mara's Batman voice. Mm. I always thought I haven't done that one in a while. Damien, no, we don't kill. <laughs> He's always yelling at his, at his, at his little Robin. <laughs> little Damien, Damien, no. Damien, we, no. We no snacks kill. after supper. <laughs> no. Damien, no Gogurts past 11 p.m. <laughs> you know the rules. Damien, you can't get the Danimals trip with Zack and Cody. It doesn't exist. There will be no <laughs> sweet life on deck. <laughs> Man, that show was something else. That was one of my favorite Disney Channel shows. The sweet Prindle. life on deck with Zack and Cody. 
Yeah. Have you watched that one? Um, I, I watched more of The Sweet Life, actually. Dude, Sweet Life on deck. That was peak television. Kicking it. Dude, I rocked with kicking it. I, I didn't have cable as a kid, so the only cable I had was at my grandma's house. Grandma Gina. I don't remember. Uh, I definitely didn't have cable either, so I don't remember how I was watching those shows when I was really little. Well, we, we watched... I remember we watched The Ball Drop in... Um, on something. Because I remember one year we were in Colorado. and uh, our house? Yeah. And oh. we... Well, I'm talking I'm talking watching Kicking in like Conyers days. Oh. We had DirecTV in Colorado. But I'm talking Conyers days. I remember watching that show, and I don't remember what it was on, because we definitely didn't have cable back then. Maybe Indirect TV? Indirect TV? Is yeah. that just like streaming services? <laughs> yeah. Indirect TV. Jude, how much time we got? Producer Jude. One minute. Tommy Willits, wow. thank you so much for being on the podcast. It's been an absolute treat. Would you come back? Uh, depends on uh, how this one does. That makes sense. I need to see, guys, I need to see at least 5,000 <laughs> likes and 10 hundred comments, and we will come back for a part two. Well, that's actually not how it works. You have one guest, like you're on for one time. Maybe for in a, a few, part maybe, two. Maybe in a few years. For a part two. If I'm still rocking with it by next summer. If you had Jordan on. Peterson on, then I'll come back. <laughs> that's your tolerance. Yeah. toleration. All right. It's been great, Tom. Good luck, Charlie. I never watched that one. I'll be kicking it with you.